welcome back to my channel my name is Lenore Makeup by Leo here on YouTube if you're new to the channel I would consider subscribing to my channel if you are into makeup reviews demos hair product reviews and stuff like that if you're a returning subscriber thank you for returning and continuing to support my channel I really truly appreciate you guys and we're gonna jump right into the video now today we are obviously you can tell by the title of this video that we are going to be doing a full face of wet and wild makeup and I feel like this is a really good drugstore makeup brand that I feel like needs to be talked about a little bit more. I feel like people are kind of sleeping on the products and they have some really good stuff, especially now that it's going to now that it's back to school. I think that these are some good products that you can pick up and they have different price ranges, which is really, really good. So as far as brows go, I used the Wet n Wild Micro Micro Brow, and what it looks like, it's it has this fully on one side and then the thin micro brow part on the other end. These are really really good. I really like these. I have it in a dark shade, so I mean it's okay because my my natural hair color is dark, so it kind of like goes hand in hand. And then they also have the Wet n Wild Brow Sessive brow gel which I use these in combination today on my eyebrows now if you like more of a bigger kind of pencil for your eyebrows wet n wild does have the retractable brow pencil and this one has more of that thicker kind of tip so this is uh, pretty cool as well and you have the spoolie this one here is not my favorite for me this is not my favorite because my eyebrows are thicker so I like they're more coarse so I feel like it's harder to blend the product when it's a thicker pencil like this I have a little pomade kind of situation like so you can you know use for your brows I don't know what this is called but it does come with a little brush on the end and it looks like a little, kind of like the Kaboom, Kaboom, I think, brow from Benefit. I, I think that's what it's called. I'm not too sure. But um, that kind of reminds me of that little style of bottle that they have for the brows. I think I have that one, but I don't really use it either. I haven't used pomades in quite some time. But anyways, that's what I use on my eyebrows. To clean up my brows, I'm just going to go in with my Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer in Light Beige. This is one of my favorite concealers to use I also have the incognito which is also a great formula I like this incognito concealer I'm not too sure if it's like one of their permanent products but I know that I'm still able to find it in my stores like at Walmart and stuff I'm trying to find a small brush just to clean up underneath the eyebrows to just carve them out I like my eyebrows to look a little bit more cleaned up right underneath Okay, so I am going to be using this as an eyeshadow base for today. I'm not too sure if Wet n Wild has a, an eyeshadow base. I know like back, years back, they used to carry one with like the Fergie line. I don't know if you remember when Fergie did a collab with Wet n Wild. They had an eyeshadow primer and that one was pretty good, but that was like many, many years ago. And um, I don't, I'm not too sure if... They have an eyeshadow primer. I really, really haven't paid no mind to it because, I mean, you can use concealer as base to conceal your eyes. Just use a thin layer and just kind of tap it into your, your lid and it works almost the same. I mean, you do have to set it, but that's entirely up to you. So, for eyeshadow palettes, Wet n Wild has a lot of eyeshadow palettes. They just recently came out with this limited edition i guess it's for like summer or whatever collection and they have three different kinds of eyeshadow palettes and a, like a whole line of stuff but i just picked up the eyeshadow palette this is the my cherry amore pigment palette and then i picked up the wet n wild be mine honey face mist which are limited edition i mean if you have it you have it use it if you don't you know they always have other stuff they have these eyeshadow pods or eyeshadow palettes that, you know, come in different ranges. They have like a purple one. These are permanent, I think, in their line. They have this one that's kind of like an ABH style, you know, similar to the colors in the ABH. They also have this one here with a little bit more pops of color. 
and then this one as well a little bit more neutral and a pop of color in there or a couple pops of color they have these the color icons these are mm, this one it wasn't my favorite i do have a review on it if you want to see it i'll go ahead and link it down below so that way you can check it out this is also an, a limited edition eyeshadow palette from wet n wild i love this eyeshadow palette because it's more neutral warm and i love neutral warm eyeshadows so this is one of my favorite eyeshadow palettes from wet n wild that they came out with a while back i don't think they have these anymore but if you do have it and you happen to pick it up you can also use that color icon eyeshadow palettes and these are really really great this is like an oldie but just a revamp package these are i believe newer newer um additions to their collection but this is one of my favorite ones. Mine broke, so I did repurchase these. These are only $2.98 at Walmart, so I definitely recommend these. I love the formula of these. Today I'm feeling like wearing a little bit more earthy tone, so we're going to go in with the Lucky Charm Icon Palette. I'm going to go ahead and use a smaller palette. It's um, more affordable and uh, definitely, worth, definitely worth the $3 you're going to spend on it. This eyeshadow palette, it has four shimmers and then one transition shade, which is not like super, super like ideal for most people. But for me, it's, for me, it's not going to be a big deal because I'm just going to sweep this color, this matte shade right in the crease and then just pop on a lid shade. Maybe like intensify the outer corners with one of the deeper shades like this or this. So for me, it's not a big deal. I'm just looking to do something really quick and easy. Wet n Wild does carry shadow brushes that you can find at Fam, uh, not Family Dollar. You can find them just about anywhere, but the cheapest I've seen them is at Dollar Tree. They're literally a dollar. So, I mean, their eyeshadow brushes are pretty good. They're the ones with the pink bristles. So if you do come across any at Dollar Tree, I suggest you pick them up because that's like where you're going to find them the cheapest. I have one right here. This is the, the blending brush they have and these they carry them at Dollar Tree. They're really good. They pack on the shadow really nicely and they're good for blending out. I really like these for in the crease and just, you know, adding transition shades. You can even use it in the outer third. They're multi-purpose. You can use them for just about almost anything i really like this you can also use them for contouring the nose if you contour your nose if you're into that kind of thing i'm not like super big on contouring my nose but um i know a lot of people are into that so you can also use them to like chisel out the sides of your nose and stuff so these are really really good i'm not gonna use all wet and wild stuff just like mostly the face stuff but the brushes i'm gonna use whatever it is that i have so use what you have girl okay so basically that's what the shadow looks like it's very similar to my skin tone i'm gonna go ahead and pack on one of these shades i think i want to do this emerald shade here it's really pressed in so hopefully the color comes off really nicely on the lid oh that's pretty it's kind of like a dual chrome oh that's real pretty I don't know if you can tell on camera, but it kind of has like a shift to it where, oh my God. No. This eyeshadow palette I haven't tried out before. The Sundays I have tried out and that one's really, really nice. A really nice warm eyeshadow palette. Um, this one, this is my first time trying it out. So that's why I'm like a little shook on the, on this eyeshadow here. It's so crazy. So this is what the green shadow looks like. I really, really like it. Uh, this emerald green, it's such a pretty shade. Like, it just, let me swatch it for you guys. It looks so stunning. Look at how it shifts. It has like a shift to it. So I definitely, definitely love this eyeshadow. It's pressed. It's really pressed, so... um. You're gonna it's gonna take a little building up to do but definitely worth it definitely worth sitting there and building up now i do want to add some of this green here just to see what it does on the outer third see if it deepens it up a little bit more gives it a little bit more of a smoky look 
it applies well with the brush to this green shade so it it is deepening up that outer third really nicely it looks almost like a black green like this is nice I like that. You see that? It looks almost like black. Wow. I like that. I, I like the way this is looking. So I'm going to keep it as is for now. I think I'm going to use this gold shade in the inner corner just to bring a little bit more. And It's not going to bring too much brightness, but it'll light, inline the eyes a little bit. I think I like it right there. Now for liner, I am going to go in with a wing liner. I haven't worn wing liner in a couple of days, so. NYWILD does carry different kinds of eyeliners. I have these right here. This is one of my favorite ones. I use it. I've used it several times in my videos. This is the Mega Liner. My friend told me about this one, and ever since I purchased it, I fell in love with it. It's super affordable. And then we have the H2O, which is like a super oldie. Um, I'm not like the biggest fan of the h2o but that's another option and then um they also carry these felt tip eyeliners um these are okay they're not like the the best best quality but they're okay they also have the breakup proof eyeliner i don't know where mine is i do have it that one's really really good as well but i like a really intense black liner and this is definitely my go-to when it comes to wet n wild wet n wild um formula for liquid eyeliner. So I got a little wing going on here. I feel like this eyeshadow looks very similar to one of the eyeshadow looks I created using the Natasha Denona palette. Of course, this one I feel is a little bit more deeper because I don't have like the minty shades going on. I'll insert a clip here somewhere or I'll link the video down below so that way you can see what I'm talking about. But this is kind of similar to that eyeshadow look which is crazy. I mean using different tones but the greens are almost like in the same category so I do like that i think i might go in with the ardell the ardell wispies just because i want a little bit more of a longer lash but the good thing about these is that they aren't cover up the shadow they're they're very like wispy to the point where you're gonna still see that that um that shadow peeking through all right while my lashes are drying i'm gonna go in with a little thin coat of mascara this is from aoa this is not wet and wild i apologize um i don't have any new weight new weight <laughs> new wet and wild mascaras the ones that i have used um I've used the one in the purple tube many, many times on my channel in the past. Um, that's a good mascara just to coat the lashes. So, I mean, they also have the ones with these kind of wands, the skinny ones. Those are pretty good too. Uh, I don't have any on hand, so I decluttered a lot of my mascaras. So, I don't have any on hand. So, just letting you know. Okay, so this is what the lashes look like. Really nice, simple lashes. They are they have some length, but they don't cover the eyeshadow, which I really, really like. And I like to use these on more natural days, too, when I don't have, like, a lot going on or whatever. But anyways, let's move on. I'm going to go ahead and prime my face. I have this one. Um, Tati actually recommended this one. She says that this is a really, really good primer. Um, I have been using it, and I have been enjoying it. These are the 3-in-1 Primer Waters. They're really good and they are, I think, permanent in their collection. So you can go in with this before doing your makeup or adding your base. I'm just going to use this. This one is the one I'm going to be using today. This one kind of fills in the pores. 
so I I have been enjoying this one uh, today I think we're gonna be going in with one of these photo focus I have the dewy and I have the matte these are really really good foundations super inexpensive they have this stick one this is the stick foundation it's really really nice for photos I don't like it to wear like on a regular like out and about that kind of thing I feel like it feels a little bit heavier on my skin than the actual full coverage foundation and then they also have the tint tinted hydrator which um, I've seen a lot of people really really like this I do like it but it's very very uh, thin it's just a tint it's just almost like like a BB cream so it's just gonna give your skin a little tint kind of even it out if you have any discoloration but um, it's not going to give you any coverage. And then they also have the these. These are the Wet n Wild Mega Cushion Foundations. These have SPF 15. I have the shade Honey Beige. I'm not too sure. I think this might be a little bit too dark for me. But um, they carry them. Sometimes you can find them at Dollar Tree for Dollar Girl. So if you do see them, pick them up. I'm not sure if they carry them in CVS anymore. I haven't seen them. But um, I would try Walmart maybe. Today I want to look both hydrated and I want to kind of have like a satin look so I'm going to mix both foundations the the dewy and the matte formula I'm going to mix both the matte foundation and the dewy foundation and this is going to be our concoction for today this is what I'm going to use for my face because I more, want more of a satin finish. I don't want it to be too dewy, but I don't want it to be super like luminous either. So we're going to go ahead and go in with both foundations just to get get the effects of both. This foundation right now might be too light for me because it's summer girl and I bought these I think it was like colder months when I bought these I want to say but I'm not too too sure so these are I think in golden beige today's concealer I am gonna use what I use to prime my lids and it's the photo focus concealer in me light medium I do love this one this is actually really really good but this is like my favorite wet n wild concealer like I feel like it gives you the coverage you need right underneath your eyes and it just been one of my favorite drugstore concealers for a really long time I used to actually use it all the time all the time it was like one of my go-to concealers but um Lately, I've been using the e.l.f. concealer. That one's one of my favorites as well. It's more of a new, it's newer than the Wet n Wild Photo Focus. But this concealer is super good, super affordable, and has been around for quite some time. And I feel like you should definitely pick it up if you just want to save some money, you know. Like, you're getting a really good concealer. It's definitely buildable coverage and I feel like you can get a you're getting it for a good price girl like it works really really well I'm gonna set my face I'm gonna go ahead and go in with the photo focus translucent powder this is one of my favorite translucent powders from the drugstore it's very affordable it doesn't leave a white cast when taking photos so I do like that and I appreciate that about this powder it is really finely milled so it just goes right into the skin it just sinks in it doesn't make you look cakey or anything I mean unless you want to pound it on there and you know kind of thicken it up but for the most part this has a really good you can just sweep it all over the face for a nice matte finish I'm just putting a little because lately these days I have been really really oily for bronzer we're gonna use what shady beaches I haven't used this bronzer at all I've actually 
uh, been wanting to use it, but I always reach for other bronzers. So we're going to use this one. So I'm going to use this to bronze up the skin. This gives you like a nice tan look. This is my first time using this shade and it gives you a nice tan. And I'm adding it more up here to give my face a more uplifted look because I don't want my cheeks to look droopy. I have more of a rounder face so I'm just going to try to lift these cheeks up girl. Wet n Wild also has another one. I'm going to go ahead and show you right now. This one's an OG. Definitely has been around for some time but um, it's good. This one's really good actually. I love this one. Uh, I haven't used it in a long time. This is a new one. This is more of a cool tone. More on the cool side, this bronzer here. And then this, you can use it to set underneath the eyes. This is a perfect combo. It's super good, super affordable. I love it. But today we're using this bronzer to warm up the skin. Just bring some warmth to the skin to make it look a little bit more blended in because of course the foundation is too light girl and then for blush i'm gonna go ahead and go in with send new send nudes oh my god i'm gonna go in with nudist society this is a uh, in their permanent collection but this is limited edition packaging this is just something i've had for a little while i think this this came out back in like february i want to say and this is a good blush like this is a nice pretty blush it does have glitter so if you like little specks of glitter so if you don't like that you're not gonna like it but I like the color it gives to the skin it's not like overpowering it's very subtle but you can build it up and wet and wild they have just a good blushes period like good affordable blushes so if you're into blush and you love blush you'll probably like this one so check it out if you haven't or maybe if you have it in your collection use it girl this is my favorite drugstore highlight i have been using this for a long time this is what mine looks like it's all jacked up girl my packaging's all falling apart but i will not get rid of this it gives your 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 skin like a sun kiss look especially if you're like my skin tone or deeper it's gonna look great on your skin also have the after sex glow this is what it looks like it has more of a peachy tone here and then this champagne gold tone this is really pretty on the skin it's definitely like one of my favorites as well but for me like if i had to choose between that between the after sex glow and this one i would definitely go up with go with this one this is the golden flower crown and they have other shades for lighter skin tones and then you know this one and then i think they have another shade i think they have maybe like three or four shades i'm not too sure but this one is my favorite so i like to sweep this right there like i like for my skin my skin to look popping okay so for lips girl wet and wild carries lip liners these that i have are called the wet and wild lip liner crayon and these are the color icon i have the shades brandy wine and chestnut this is chestnut here oh i like this one this is brandy wine right here And then we're going to go in with a nude shade. I have these two right now. I don't know where my other Wet n Wild lipsticks are. But these are the... I think these are the Mega Last Matte. Yeah, these are the Mega Last Matte lipsticks. I have the shade Never Nude. Which is more of a peachy nude. We have a peachy nude here, which is never nude and then we have the coral shade here which is 
bear it all and these are some really good lipsticks i love to wear both this one is the one i'm going to be going in with and this is never nude and i'm just gonna pop that right on the lips just to give it like an ombre look i've been loving like doing uh, my lippies like this okay and then to set the face i'm gonna go in with the be mine honey wet n wild primer face mint oh no this is just a face mist it's not a primer so let's see if it's any different from this one i love this one this is like one of my favorite primer waters or setting sprays Whatever you use it for. I use it for both sometimes. And we're just going to see what this one's about. It smells good. It smells really nice. I don't know that it smells like honey, but it smells really, really good. Let me smoke out the lower lash line real quick. I'm just going to go in with the... The shade we use for all over the lid and then a little bit of the transition shade and I'll be right back. Okay guys, so that is pretty much it for this full face of Wet n Wild makeup. I did go in with the gold shade like I said I was in the inner corner of the eye and then for the lower lash line of course I did go in with the two shades that I said I would, this one and this one here. I really hope that you guys enjoyed watching me create this eye look using all these Wet n Wild products. These are some really good products, very affordable drugstore products that people sometimes sleep on because they want like more expensive stuff i like having both expensive and inexpensive makeup i have this beauty channel so of course i want to try things out for you guys even if i come out with my videos a little bit later but i definitely try to stay on trend with whatever products are coming out but i mean in most cases, I'm not going to purchase something that I feel like I'm not going to use very often. But yes, I really hope that you guys enjoyed the way this makeup look turned out. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. And turn on the post notification bell so that way you're aware when I upload videos. Because I'm still trying to figure out if I want to upload like the beginning of the week or towards the end of the week so just make sure you turn on the post notification bell so that way you're able to just be notified when i do upload a new video 